Okay, so I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go ahead and go over what you have to do for week five, which is February the sixth through the twelfth. You can look that we'll be looking at adjectives, which are used to describe physical appearance, nationality, and some of your personality traits. And we'll also be looking at how to tell time. So if you scroll down past the decorative picture, it does have text, so you can read that text if you want to. But it's really just meant for decoration purposes. And that long image description is just. Um, this is a picture, so it's just the words and the picture written out so that a screen reader could read them. So it's nothing that you guys have to worry with. Um, so to start off with, you're going to study pages 40 to 49. And after completing this week's activities, you should be able to describe your physical appearance, your nationality, and some of your personality traits to others, as well as be able to tell time. All of your assignments for this week are due by the end of the day on February the 9th. And um, the activities in this week address SLOs 1 and 2. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do, like always, is to come down here, click on your Instructor Made videos, and you're going to want to watch the videos on the vocabulary on page 43 and on telling time. And then after you've watched the videos, you'll go back out to the fifth week, February the 6th through the 12th, and you'll open up the class participation forum You'll click here on Class Participation Forum, click Reply, and post any questions or concerns you have about those videos that you just watched or any other questions or concerns you have about the class thus far. Okay, then after you've done that, uh, the next thing that you have, you have Test 2, uh, which is in My Language Labs, and then you also in My Language Labs have to complete um, SAM assignments 2-1, 2-2, 2-3, 2-4, 2-5, Two seven, two eight, and two nine. So I have a link out here that'll take you to my language lab. So you can click on either one of those, and then we're gonna log in. So I'm gonna. Okay. So then once you log in, um, I'm doing this at the end of January. Uh, February isn't until tomorrow. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure I was in the right week. Um, so, like I said before, when I click out here, I'm still in January, so you can see um, there's only red alarm clocks on here. Um, and, that, and this week's worth, this week's work is due on the 9th of February. So, if you're clicking out here early, just remember that you can use these bars up here to move back and forth in this site. So, if I click this arrow, I'm going, and I have to click it twice for some reason, I'm going to February. And now, because my work is due on the 9th, I'm going to click on the 9th. And then, remember that... Um, so there you'll find the SAM assignment. There are also some vocabulary tutorials out there, and there's your test down at the bottom. So just remember that you only have to complete the SAMs. These tutorials are out there in case you want extra explanation on any of the things that um, have been covered this week, but you do not have to look at them. It's extra. So all that you have to make sure is you do these activities right here. You just open them up. And then just follow the directions, answer the questions, and when you're done on each assignment, down at the bottom, you click Finish and Submit for Grading. Okay. You also have a test this week, so I'm going to open up the test and go over the test with you. Okay. Uh, the first part of the test, your classmate is helping you review the classroom vocabulary, listen to each statement she makes, then decide whether the statement is true or false based on the picture. So the statement's going to say something like this. En el escritorio hay tres lápices. So it'll say something like, en el escritorio hay tres lápices. So then you look at this picture, and if the statement that was said is true, then you would click cierto, and if it's false, you would click falso. Okay, then when you finish that activity, go on to the next page. Um, here, you've purchased flashcards with pictures on them, but some of them are blank. Fix the problem by writing the word that corresponds to each item below. An article has already been given. You have your indefinite article. So all you need to do is write the vocabulary word of the item that is pictured. Okay, then when you're done with that, go on to the next page. Um, here, you're going to read the description of a classroom and then answer the questions in Spanish. They don't have to be in a complete sentence, but just answer the questions in Spanish. So you're asked, you know, ¿cuántas días hay en la clase? So you would look up here and write the answer. Uh, 
Okay, and here on this page, you're going to read the, uh, the statements below. It says, Matthew, a beginning Spanish student, wrote a short letter to a new friend to practice the verbs there. However, if you forgot to include his subject pronouns, help him by filling in the appropriate subject pronouns in his letter. This is where you'll be plugging in, like, tu y yo, el, elia, usted. So based on the spelling of um, the verbs, you would plug in which subject pronoun would um, best match the spelling of the verb. Then move on to the next page. Here it says, learn some characteristics of the following people and things by completing the sentence with the correct form of the verb ser. So here you're going to just plug in the correct spelling of ser based on your subject. Remember that the subject is written before the uh, verb in a statement and after the verb in a question. Okay, then you go on to the next page. Here, um, you're going to fill in the blank with the appropriate indefinite article. These are your us, ands, and subs, your uns and unas. So you're going to fill in the blank with uns and unas. Go on to the next page. page. You're doing the same thing, but completing the sentence with a definite article. Those are your els and las. So you'd fill in the blank with el, la, los, or las. Um, here, after carefully writing some sentences to describe the things in your classroom, you notice you miscounted. Rewrite each of the following sentences, changing them from singular to plural or plural to singular. So you would change, and remember, you've got to change everything. That means the article needs to become, this is a plural one, the article needs to become singular, the noun singular, the verb singular. You want to go from they are to the pencil is, and even the color needs, the adjective needs to be made singular. So, and then on the others, you got to make everything plural. So just make sure you don't forget any one piece or it'll be wrong. Um, and here, fill in the blank. Um, Okay, so here you will fill in the blank, uh, blanks in the following paragraph with a logical adjective, and it's basically looking for, well, it's, you're looking for um, logical and also agreement. So if you're describing something that's feminine and plural, then you've got to fit, pick a feminine plural adjective from up here and only use one once. Uh, complete the descriptions of the university students with the correct word from the word bank. So the same thing again, you want to make sure that the adjective agrees and it also matches the definition. So a lot of these are giving you one definition and you're going to choose the, uh, or an adjective and you're going to choose the opposite adjective. So if it's lazy, then you need to pick hardworking. And then hit finish and submit for grading. And hopefully that explains to you what you have to do for the week.